Today's workout is a home cardio calorie weight loss burning workout. It's a really fun one. If you're following my November's challenge, this is day one from Fit Glam. Now, we are going to use some props. If you have something that has a handle like a broom or a stick, you're going to need that. If you haven't, don't panic because you can simply mimic the move. And then what we're going to do is short little bursts. This is where it's suitable for every single fitness level. You either march on the spot or you jog on the spot. This is why it is great for beginners fitness as well. Then the other prop we're going to be using today is simply a chair. And this is really going to be where we're toning and sculpting. So if you need to, hit the pause button, go and grab a broom, stick and a chair. And also if you do a quick little warm up for me, just march on the spot for one minute. And then as your online trainer, I'm ready to start training you. And we're going to have such a fun workout today. So the first move, let's do 30 seconds. Now we're doing 30 seconds bursts where you either march on the spot or you can do a light jog on the spot. Alternatively, you can be jogging around your room, marching around your room. You could be doing hopping, skipping, crazy dancing. This is just where we are getting your heart rate up. So we're increasing the calorie burn. And today it's very much, it's gonna be a mix of doing cardio and sculpting. All right, so just keep going and keep marching and and jogging just while I show you the next move. So your next move, and actually if you wanna grab your stick, we're gonna do this. So you're gonna come into a wide stance and have one foot behind, and you're gonna hold onto your um, broom, and you literally just take it from one side to the other. So if you come into that position for me now, and literally just rotate from one side. Now why I've got you in this stance just means now you can't twist through your hips. So what I'm doing is I'm really isolating your oblique muscles. So this is gonna really shape your waist. And what I'm gonna do halfway through, we'll just change a leg. So we just take the opposite leg in front. And the idea with this challenge throughout November is I want you to look and feel your best for party season. Let's now change the legs. So whatever your dream dress, suit, trouser suit, whatever it is, we are gonna be melting off those inches with this series of workouts. So tummy stays tight and you're just taking that round. Remember if you haven't got the stick, just pretend you're holding onto a stick there. And by having those feet in that position, stabilizes, keeps your hips still. By keeping your hips still, just means we're really working your internal and external obliques. And you've just got four, let's go three, two and one. All right, so now we simply put the broom down. We're just gonna do 30 seconds. So again, you can choose. Now in this 30 seconds, you might wanna do 10 seconds of star jumps and then bring it back to doing 30 seconds light jogging or light marching. And how today works is we literally do 30 seconds of doing the cardio and then we're gonna be alternating, doing sculpting moves, either using the stick or the chair. All right, that's good and well done. And so your next move coming up, three, two, and one. You're gonna need your chair for this. I've just got 15 second preview so you can see. You sit down and come up and do a knee lift and sit back down. Do just make sure your chair is somewhere where it's not gonna slip back. So you might wanna have against a wall. Just make sure it is on a sturdy surface. All right, so we're gonna do this for a minute. So you sit down, come up, knee lift and knee lift. Sit back down, that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna be answering some of your questions that I get sent all the time. So whilst you're working out, I'm gonna be teaching you. And one question, email I always get asked is, I want to lose weight, can you tell me the safest way? The safest way is you have to do it yourself. There is no pill, there is no shake, there is no tea bag, there is no protein drink, there is no little gadget you put around your waist that gives you electric shocks, which is gonna make you have a six pack. The reality is you have to simply move more, you have to eat the right foods, you have to eat the right size portions, and you have to be consistent. And remember, by doing that, you get all the health benefits. Exercise is the medicine to everything. So when you see those products, when you see people on Instagram selling you protein shakes, just remember they are making money, all right? And the only way you can do it is yourself because if a tea bag were, we'd all be buying kettles and the whole world would be slim. All right, let's now just go back to doing 30 seconds jogging or marching on the spot. That's it. And just make sure you land nice and softly. 
And as a trainer with over 25 years experience, it makes my blood boil when I see all these people that all of a sudden are just on social media, then are doing fitness workouts, doing this or getting paid a fortune to be fitness DVD, then you see them a year later and it's all completely different. It's not realistic. So we want to get smart with this. Right, let's go to the next exercise. So back with your chair, this time we are going to do toe taps and we're going to work the arms as well. Have your palms facing down and we're going to get ready to do this one for a minute. So this one here, let's think about where we're working. We are toning through your arms, we are toning through your booty, we're toning through your abs, and this is great for a beginner, intermediate, you know, it's gonna get your heart rate up. If you find it too hard, then you can simply do it without the arms. So you just have your hands on your hips. This is good. And also when you're exercising, think about the other things that we're doing, that a tea bag or a protein shake or a diet pill doesn't do. We are releasing feel good hormones. We are reducing stress, we are reducing anxiety, you are increasing your heart health, you are increasing your lung capacity, you are lowering blood pressure, you know, this is where I am so passionate as a trainer to teach people about what's real and it's about you, it's about your health. We all want to look good, this is why we're doing this workout, but you know, I want to teach you whilst you're wanting to look good, all the other benefits you're going to get from exercise as well. Okay, so we've just got last five seconds, four, take it three, two, and then a one. All right, so let's now bring it back, 30 seconds, march, jog, star jumps, do whatever. So here's another question. I'm a complete beginner to fitness, so how quickly can I see results? Well, do you know what? The first time you exercise, expect to see results. You are gonna feel energized, you are gonna feel motivated. If you're working out three or four times a week, by the end of week one, you will feel and look fitter. By week two, you will see even more results. I promise you, just starting is the most exciting thing you can do. All right, so next one, grab your stick. This time now, we're gonna do a side lunge, and we're gonna focus on doing 30 seconds on one side, then we're just gonna go 30 seconds to the other side. So this one here, we are working mainly through the lower body. So let's lunge it over, then push up back up. So lunge it over and then back. That's good. Okay, well done. So we'll change halfway through. And how does exercise help improve your health. It helps every single aspect of your health. It helps your mind. It helps reduce stress. It helps reduce anxiety. It helps to lower blood pressure. It helps increase your circulation. All right. It also helps reduce the risk of heart disease. It helps reduce the risk of disease. Full stop. You know, exercise is the best medicine. We are designed to move. And the key thing is about just making exercise fun. You know, and that's why like to on my YouTube channel give you a whole host of different workouts. So if you've only got four minutes, you can do my four minute hit ones if you've got longer. But you know what? The best thing you can do for you is just simply exercise and move more. So you're doing really well. We've only got about four minutes left of training. Then we go straight into doing some stretches. So keep focused, keep thinking of those benefits and we're going to get ready to bring it back to your jog. So you might want to do 10 seconds where you're doing a light jog, then 10 seconds marching. Or if you want to, if you want to push yourself a little bit harder, you could do 10 seconds where you go really fast, high knees. Just try and make sure you're landing softly. And if you have got a big enough space, because remember, this workout can be suitable if you're in a little apartment, if you're upstairs, because you can just land softly and you can do the low impact where you're just following me on the left. And let's go three, take it two and one. So the next move coming up this time we're using your stick again and what we're going to do is we're going to lift the stick up and we're going to lift so you lift both arms above your head and we're going to lift up on one leg so this one here is really good for balance for flexibility all right so let's hold on to the stick and then get ready if you haven't got a stick again you could just mimic the move so we're doing this for a minute so this one's going to be quite tough all right so if it feels too much you can just lose the arm movement halfway through and just go with the straight leg kicks and if perhaps you don't have particularly good balance don't use the stick and have one hand by the wall and just do the straight leg kicks so here as I said fitness isn't just about what we look like it's about different components of fitness as in like muscular endurance how long can we keep moving how strong are we um, balance flexibility so on this one here we are ticking every single box and a lot of people ask why I never use weights 
well I do use weights, I just use body weight. You see for me it's like I want to keep a feminine shape, there's nothing wrong with people that want to use weights but I just always think well you know you can just use your own body's weight so that is my preference and I just wanted to explain that and let's go last five seconds coming up now, five, this is also a really good ab exercise, three, two and one. All right, so go back to your chosen 30 seconds, doing that cardio for me and today's workout is gonna fly by. I said to you it's gonna be a really quick one. You are gonna feel so energized afterwards and you've got last 20 seconds, just keeping that going. Just make sure you do land nice and softly on those feet, keep that going if you want to. You can do some star jumps now if you want, okay? So let's just keep that going. Last little bit, remember, keep those feet landing nice and softly for me. So next move, make sure your chair is somewhere sturdy. So this time we're gonna do a leaning in and mountain climbers. And now this one, we're just gonna do it 45 seconds because this one's pretty challenging. All right, so again, perhaps put your chair by the wall. You're gonna lean into it, step back, lean into it and draw the knee over towards the opposite side of the chair. So the benefit here, you are strengthening through your upper body. So again, we don't need to use weights. We're using body weight resistance. We are also working majorly through your abdominals. I'm toning and trimming your waist. By drawing your knee over, just means then we're gonna get that nice curvy waist. Because remember I've said in one of my other videos, when so many people just hold the plank for like one minute, you know, I'm really not a plank fan because to me, it puts pressure on the knees and it can actually broaden the waist, it strengthens the core, but you know, if we want curves, if we want to really nip in the waist, exercises like this are way more effective. And also by moving through an exercise, you burn more calories, get better results. All right, so let, let's bring it back now to 30 seconds. Now for this one, if no one's watching, just do some crazy dancing. You know, this is where exercise and fitness is fun. There are no rules, it's just simply about moving. All right, that's good. And if you need to at any point, remember you can always hit the pause button. I will just stay static for you and you can go and grab some water. So let's just keep that going now. And we're nearly done with today's workout, so let's keep 100% focus, keeping in 100% effort for me as well. So next move, I'm going to let you choose. So these are going to be fun. So you can either do the one where you're in that split stance, rotating, so that one really works the waist, or you can do that total body move. Again, you're going to be doing this for a minute, so just choose your move. That's good, so just lift it up, and then rotate that round. That's good. Reaching that round and then back. That's good. Okay, so today's workout, as I said, is very much we've got the heart rate up and we're doing toning. And throughout this challenge this month for Fit Glam, it's going to be a really fun one because every other month I set you a challenge. I just wanted to make something that was a little bit different. Do change your legs. That timing was really bad. Stopwatch got in the way. So just if you are following me on the right, just make sure you're then um, got the opposite leg in front. And this one you have, we are going to always do once a week, we're having a longer cardio one. Then for the rest of the week, I'm doing a four minute hit one with you and then a three minute specific toning. And then we are also going to have a beauty expert, Lauren, one day a week is going to give us a makeup tutorial. All right, and let's go three, take that two and one. So let's come back now to your 30 seconds. Just march or jog on the spot. If you want to, you could do, I'm going to give you a random move now. Let's, if you want to, 10 seconds now, star jumps, crazy star jumps, jump really high. That's good. And then you can take it back to either your march or your jog. You've got two and one. So again, march, jog, just land softly. If you're doing the marching, if you're a beginner, follow me on the left. Just land softly. Keep your tummy tight. That's good. Still march through with the arms, two and one. So your next move, again, I'm going to show you two options. Using your chair, you can either do the toe taps or you can do your lean-in mountain climber. Just make sure your chair isn't going to slip wherever it is. So let's get ready to come into that position. We're gonna do that for 60 seconds. So if you are doing the mountain climber, that is quite hard to do it for that long. Just see how you go. Remember, you can always rest halfway through. You know, if you're a complete beginner, then you might just be doing like 20 seconds of these exercises. But next time you come back, I bet you any money, you'll then be doing 30 seconds. As I said, every time you work out, you are investing in your health and your well-being. That's good. Let's just keep that going. 
All right, well done. So we are over halfway through on this particular exercise. So if you're doing those toe taps, you keep your palms facing down. So we're working through your arms and your shoulders. If you're following me on the left, leaning in, so you're developing strength through your upper body, you're toning through the waist, we're getting that heart rate up. Keep focused because you are doing really well. Okay, last 10 seconds and we're nearly finished today because once we've finished this one, we are then finishing off where we do a 45 seconds, either march, jog, star jumps, crazy dancing, and then we're finished and we're going straight into a stretch. So you've got a little bit longer on this one. So you might wanna do 10 seconds of star jumps and then do 10 seconds where you jog and march. Doing really well, let's just go for it. Last 30 seconds, then we're gonna do a full body stretch. Remember, stretching is really important as it helps realign your body. So it's great for posture, it's great for flexibility, and it helps prevent muscular soreness and injury. All right. And actually what we do now, let's just slowly bring that pace down. So we just start to reduce that heart rate, even though I'm still jogging. Actually, if you just take that to a march. All right, well done. And we are nearly finished today's workout. And let's go three, two, and one. So just really march out, shake out the arms, a big high five from me to you. Well done for doing that. So what we are gonna do, we're just slowly gonna do some stretches. If you want longer to cool down and march on the spot, you can always hit the pause button. Also, if you wanna grab some water. So if you're ready, we we'll just start with that first calf stretch. So you just take that heel behind, feel the stretch through the back of the lower leg, lean into it, hands are on that bent leg in front. It is important you do feel these stretches where I'm pointing the arrow. So this one we're feeling in the back of the lower leg. And let's just now take that to the opposite leg. So hands are on the bent leg, just feel that through the calf muscle. And for anyone here that is seriously wanting to lose weight, then remember I do have my healthy eating book. And this book is all about teaching you about quick recipes and telling you why they're healthy and they're really easy to make. And I think really understanding about food, you know, we should all enjoy food. We shouldn't be scared of food. We don't need to be on a diet. When we understand like how food, like eating a rainbow is incredible for our health and understanding the benefits of all the different vitamins and minerals that we get. You know, I always think knowledge is power. So when you understand foods are rich in vitamin A and how vitamin A helps your skin glow. You know, vitamin B is great to keep your skin pumped up. It's also great to give you bright eyes. You know, and I think the more you understand, the more exciting it is then when you're eating. And all the foods in my book are so delicious. Like you would not feel you are on a diet far from it. These are delicious. These are good for you. These have health benefits. These are quick. These are easy to make, you know, and this is where you then have a fantastic relationship with food. You enjoy your what you, because in a way, I'm anti-diets, but we are all on a diet because diet just means what you eat in a day. But the great thing is you can enjoy these foods. All right, let's just feel that quad stretch. And it's all about being creative. I like to think outside the box of being a trainer and do stuff differently and then the same with food let's think let's be creative and also I am possibly one of the worst cooks in the world but if I can make this stuff and make it tasty and enjoyable so can you like even these no bake energy treats taste nicer than any chocolate and it also becomes cheaper a lot of people think it's expensive to eat healthy foods well actually it isn't it's just kind of being creative in the kitchen and when you make stuff yourself you know what is gone in it there is sugar in everywhere you know these food manufacturers have made fortunes out of making us obsessed with sugar so it's all about let's get back to the basics let's learn natural ingredients let's eat fresh from the kitchen let's make stuff exciting all right well done so there, even, we've even got juices and smoothies. You know, again, a lot of shop brought smoothies have got so much sugar, they have too much fruit in them. Rule of thumb, never do more than three pieces of fruit in a smoothie. All right, let's just feel a chest stretch. Holding that there. And really well done with today. You know, and that's what I say in part of this book 
love food as it is part of you. One thing you and I have in common, we are going to be eating for the rest of our life. So let's love it. Let's enjoy it. Let's eat food that is going to be amazing for our skin, amazing for our health. Um, and also in my book, I have a really fun feature where you can pick on any area. You click on sets arms and it'll take you straight through to a whole host of arm exercises. So it's a really fun, interactive um, video ebook. I will leave details in the link below. So as I said, if you are wanting to eat healthily, if you want to lose some weight, then this will be really good to run alongside doing all my um, workout videos. So well done with today's workout. Let's just do a nice side stretch. And this is day one from Fit Glam. Then tomorrow we've got really fun uh, four minute hit one and then we're doing three minutes toning your arms. So I'm gonna get you feeling fabulous so you can put on your favorite party frock throughout the coming month. So this is the Fit Glam Lucy Squad. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this challenge um, and any comments really, just let me know down below. And also if you like it, I would love it if you guys could share it on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter, wherever and I look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow and really well done for today's training.